Hi, how are you doing today? I hope you're holding up well in this time. Uh, it's not easy, is it? And it's been quite some weeks. Um, I'm really looking forward to a run that I'm going to do right after this video. It's um, for Wings for Life run. Of course, it's very different to the years before uh, when we had this beautiful event, event with a lot of people around us and the, the energy was just beautiful and this year I'm doing it on my own but at least I can go for the run um, I'm using the app um, Wings for Life if you don't know what this is there it's a charity run that is usually happening around the first or second weekend of May each year and it's a worldwide uh, run that is happening and all the fees go to the Spinal Recovery uh, Research Foundation and um, yeah this year I got the choice whether I wanted to get my fees back because the run is not happening in its normal form or uh, if I wanted to donate to that cause and I decided for the later and um, so I'm actually still running the competition but with the app but on my own with enough distance to everybody I might be meeting outside <laughs> but I'm actually really looking forward to it um, and yeah and since this video is going up after the run obviously <laughs> mm. um, I will be I will I think it will go online on Thursday so you can actually see on Instagram how I did how the run went and um, yeah if you also uh, joy uh, were running for this course then um, yeah share in the comments box uh, your experience that would be great to hear um, today I want to talk about vulnerability I think this is a very very important topic and um, how did it come up? Yeah, it came up because I was researching for a lockdown session that I'm going to hold on the 12th of May for Rain Dance on writing compelling dialogue. And um, as I was researching, because I, of course, I, I'm not only talking about my own experience, I want to support what I say with some research <laughs> uh, or what other people say. And there was something in a book that said that nobody wants to be vulnerable, neither wants anybody to see vulnerability. And I have to disagree with that, really. I think that in general, characters, whether they are on the page, on the screen, or on stage, I find the characters that are most interesting are the ones that show some vulnerability in one or the other way, where it shines through in some way. Maria Cotillard, for example, is an actress who is, I mean, she's a tremendous actress. I, I really uh, adore her. And I think what makes her performances so powerful is that whatever character she is playing there's always some kind of vulnerability shining through and that makes them so multidimensional and so connectable. I think vulnerability has a lot to do with connection. When we create something, it comes from a very personal place inside of us, sometimes more, sometimes less, but it always has something to do with ourselves with our true self and when we are vulnerable and we share when we share our work we make ourselves in some ways vulnerable because we share that very personal thing about ourselves even if the story has nothing to do with our lives but it's still in some ways personal and that is what makes us vulnerable and Yes, that is scary sometimes, of course. But I think when we when 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 we are brave to sh share this vulnerability, that is what allows us to connect deeper with our audience. Our characters, when we create characters, they connect deeper with the audience. It has a hugely positive 
impact on the story when there is some vulnerability. I mean, not on the nose vulnerability. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. But something that shows somebody is is more than just one thing. He's just strong. A hero who's only strong is just boring. But if he shows a, a tiny bit of sorrow, a tiny bit of 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 anger even that is also that also makes us vulnerable that makes them so much more interesting to watch or to read to see whatever i mean does that mean that i always show exactly what i'm feeling of course not <laughs> that would get me into <laughs> big trouble uh, and you would also get into big trouble as you know um i mean there are a lot of emotions i really would prefer never to share and I'm sure you feel the same about some anyway but when I see other people opening up a little bit just this tiny tiny fraction of that true emotion that helps me to connect with them I will probably even if this is someone I don't like that much. There's no chemistry or something. But if I see that kind of vulnerability, it will m help me to connect with them. It will help me to understand them on a deeper level that does not necessarily need words. So I think that is very important for creativity and for our creative journey to not be ashamed about vulnerability about showing weaknesses because what is really weakness what is really a strength showing tears in front of other people for me is a huge strength it is no sign of weakness at all it takes so much courage to cry in front of other people in my opinion so what is your experience with that what is your opinion and vulnerability how do you feel about that what do you what is your experience and yeah share that down below in the comments um yeah i i'm, I'm really interested to hear that about you because um <laughs> yeah coming back to to what i read during that research this was really something i <laughs> i actually got angry <laughs> vulnerable <laughs> um, and I thought it would be really important to talk about that here today um, if you're interested in those lockdown sessions um, the first one is on the 12th of May it's about co writing compelling uh, dialogues the second one is on the 19th of May on working with actors on film and the third one is on the 26th of May with uh, on working with children on film each of them is an hour long, uh, online of course, um, and it costs only eight pounds. It's at two o'clock in the afternoon, Greenwich Mean Time. Everybody, wherever you are, can join this class online. Uh, there are enough spaces and yeah, I will leave everything you need to know for that down below in the description box. Would be great to e-meet you there. Um, and we will see each other in just a few days again. Um, I will be starting a series, but I'm not going to tell you what it is going to be about. I've mentioned it before, so you might already guess what it is going to be about. Um, and all I need to say finally is, of course, stay healthy, stay safe. Join me on Instagram if you want to see how I did. <laughs> um uh this year alone running alone because it makes a huge difference to run alone um and um yeah that's where you can see it join me there um give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to subscribe that would be great as well and we'll see each other very soon stay creative bye bye